I began my photography journey as a landscape photographer. I used to love chasing the lights and visiting well-known locations, but recently I have fallen out of love with landscape photography, traditional landscapes anyway. If I'm being completely honest, I find it boring now. That doesn't mean to say it is boring, of course, but for me, my passion has gone for it. Rather than chasing light and limiting myself to certain times of day, I want to be free, free to immerse myself, to connect with the world around me and really see what's going on, often in places and in subjects that many discard. This really hit home to me this week as I began the week chasing thunderstorms. I'm currently chasing thunderstorms. Things didn't quite go to plan though. I have a, a slight dilemma. In between me walking from where I just was back to the car, the weather radar has now changed. Being completely honest, I was relieved. I didn't feel passionate about chasing storms, but I did feel an intense draw to the coast and the clouds that came with the changeable weather. So much so that I was delighted when a fellow photographer reached out and invited me to join her on location for sunset a few days later. During this outing, I really realised how little traditional landscapes now interest me. And in this video, I'm going to share the evening's enjoyment with you, along with some thoughts on my future direction as a photographer. Well, welcome to the coast. Tonight is a super exciting evening because I'm out doing a spot of photography with Adele Warner Tate, who I interviewed recently for the Photographic Connections podcast and her partner, Max. And we're out in the place that I grew up in, the beautiful village of Bergheads. And we're just gonna see what both of us managed to photograph this evening. I think she's gonna go more down the route of traditional landscape photography. And I'm probably gonna be using my, my telephoto lens to zoom into elements of the landscape and see what images I can create. So it'll be interesting tonight to see the difference in our, in our workflow but also just to be able to be out and enjoying photography with somebody else. So here we were on the headland in Berghead, and as I rightly thought, it wasn't the landscape that initially caught my attention. It was the clouds and the gulls that were soaring overhead. I've decided moving forward in my photography that I want to ensure that everything I photograph, I feel like I have a deep emotional connection to the subject, because I notice that when I, I have that connection to what I'm photographing, I am able to put more meaning and feeling into my images and as a result they often end up being some of my best photographs because I've really felt them, really connected with the subject and I really am able to embody the experience of being out and photograph what is really, really interesting me personally. And I've just been standing on this headland here and one thing I'm noticing is there's a lot of seagulls flying around just now, herring gulls, and I'm feeling a deep emotional connection to them today because at the moment, it's that time of year where the gulls have not long had their chicks. They are causing a lot of issues in towns and villages. And it's, it's a difficult time of year when us humans are almost in competition and rivalry with these birds. But every year I feel a deep sadness for these birds because there's so many people who will just run them over, who see them as vermin. And I realise that, yes, they do have a bit of an issue in towns and villages now but they are living creatures, they're living birds, and they haven't asked to, to be here and to be, to be treated in that way, I guess. And one thing I realise is that a lot of these issues we're having in towns and villages now with herring gulls have been caused by us. You know, they're scavenging birds, they're going into towns and villages because they know they're gonna get food. And I just feel I've always had this very deep, emotional connection with animals. Doesn't matter what animal they are, I see the beauty in every single animal. And tonight I want to honor the herring gull. I'm seeing them flying around on this headland here and being silhouetted against the sky with these gorgeous clouds that we've got this evening. I'm feeling such a connection to these photographs and I am thoroughly enjoying photographing them. I just wanted to add here that there's no denying gulls cause a lot of destruction and issues when nesting in urban areas some of which I have experienced firsthand. But here, on this headland by the coast in their natural habitat, I wanted to connect with them and find beauty in these birds. I like to believe that all living creatures have their place in the world, and no trip to the seaside would be complete without seeing the affectionately named seagulls.
you know, photographing these girls is so much fun. Like, I'm not even joking. I think every image comes out completely different. And especially when you come to a location, I think, like this, that I know so well. You know, I lived here for the majority of my life. I know it so well. I photographed all the iconic landscape images. And now when I come back here, I still absolutely love it. But I'm always looking for something different. And I think by looking up at the sky and photographing these gulls, I can see every image is completely different and I'm loving the challenge. I think one of the exciting things as well is when you go out with fellow photographers, you start inspiring them too. And Adele is currently tracking the gulls herself and seeing if she can get some images of them too. It's great actually, this inspiration, sharing ideas, and I guess allowing people to become aware of things that they normally wouldn't photograph, which is exciting too. So yeah, this is great fun. It just shows you that literally everything is a photographic opportunity and if you can have that connection to it and that story behind it and really immerse yourself in it and, and feel into it, you can make anything into a good photograph. If there's feeling and emotion behind an image, anything can be a good photograph. There's the most incredible shard of light behind me here right now with these really dramatic clouds and to be fair to the eye it looks pretty cool but on camera slightly underexposed it is such a dramatic image. I've just made the photograph and I'm going to share it with you now but I'm sure you'll agree this is phenomenal. Wow, that was incredible. And just after making this image, the sun began to come out. So we decided to head to the beach to continue our photography adventure. Wow, just look at the incredible light and the vastness of this beach. I just love coming to this beach in the summer, in the evenings, at low tide when the light is like this, because when it comes out, the contrast around me just now, the vibrancy is just phenomenal. And when you get this lovely side light here along these beautiful ripples in the sand, it can lead to some magnificent images. And you, if you followed my channel for a while now, I created a video here uh, last summer in conditions very similar to tonight. And some of the images I created that night was just amazing. And right now, Adele is over there photographing an old shipwreck. So while she's, she's doing that, I am eyeing up there's some some gulls over here once more sticking with the gull theme tonight it's definitely speaking to me a lot but the, the beautiful vibrancy and contrast we've got on the beach just now mixed in with the the dramatic clouds could lead to some interesting images as well so what i might do is uh, try and get some nice photographs of the gulls all all together here on the beach showing a different side of of their character and uh, then see if i maybe can take some more traditional images but we'll just see tonight it's all about emotional connection as i was saying i'm only going to take an image if i feel some sort of connection to it so yeah these girls are definitely enticing me in so let's watch a little bit closer so i don't scare them and just see if if uh if i feel as interested in taking an image of them when i'm a little bit closer <laughs> As I got closer to the gulls, I wasn't really feeling taking an image of them. I just didn't, it wasn't doing it for me. I did take one or two, but I just, I wasn't feeling it. But one thing that's really catching my attention now is these shapes, these beautiful shapes, the contrast, how the light is hitting them, how they're leading down the beach where we've got this beautiful uh, pool of water here. And then in the distance, we've got this nice dramatic cloud. So I wasn't going to do any more traditional landscape imagery this evening. It wasn't really in my plans, but 
I'm feeling an emotional connection to this scene. It is stunning. And it certainly was stunning. Before I set up to make some images of the pool of water and reflection, I pointed the camera down to the sand on its own and created these images here. I found this patch of sand very interesting and when the sun dimmed, it created a different feel that really spoke to me. I loved admiring how the water played a part in changing the texture of the sand too. By combining the wetter sand with the golden light, it created a lovely, slimy, smooth feel, which was beautiful to both see and photograph. And now it was time to photograph the scene as a whole, incorporating the shapes in the sand with the pool of water and the beautiful clouds. It's interesting. I'm finding as my journey progresses that I'm becoming less and less connected with the traditional landscape photos. So much so that when the light began to get really interesting, I simply stopped to admire it rather than photograph it. But then some colour began to appear, which really took my breath away. I ideally wanted a nice image of some birds silhouetted against the sky to end this evening, but this never materialised. So instead, I found myself reverting back to the landscape and making this image here. It didn't speak to me very deeply, but as I used to live in the house pictured on the hill, it does have a very personal connection to me. Wow, what a night it's been. Starting off with photographing those beautiful gulls, just soaring through these spectacular clouds. Go down to the beach, have those beautiful textures, these beautiful patterns, beautiful light, that vast expanse that just makes you feel like you're just in this wide open space that's just so mind-blowingly vast and beautiful. And now we've got stunning clouds once more and this beautiful, dramatic light where the sun is due to set. What an incredible night. And I think it really proves the beauty of being at the coast, of watching things change, watching things unfold. And a changeable evening like this evening where we've got a mix of those breaks in the clouds and the sunshine, you just never know what is going to unfold. And I was not expecting this this evening. This is a very kind of autumnal, winter, dramatic sky. Not something I'd usually uh, expect to see in the summer months, but it's here and it is stunning. As the images I'd hoped to create in this light didn't materialise, I decided to make an image of me in the scene to depict what I enjoyed most about this evening. Simply watching the light change around me and allowing myself to connect deeply with the natural world. So looking back at this evening's outing, why am I moving away from traditional landscape photography? Simply because it doesn't quite speak to me the way it used to. I want to create images that have a deep emotional impact, ones that I really feel connected to and that allow me to really allow my creativity to run wild. And for me right now, that's not traditional landscape photography. I want to create something a little bit different, just purely because it challenges me, because I love it and because I'm really enjoying seeing different parts of the landscape that I've never seen before and creating much more detailed, intimate and creative photographs. You photograph what you love and if traditional landscapes is what you enjoy to photograph, then please embrace it, enjoy it and get out there and experience it as much as you can. But for me right now, I'm really finding those traditional images they just don't do it for me. And that's fine. I'm excited to see what images I manage to create as my journey continues.